All right, I'm saying goodbye to the boat. And hopefully it's still there when I get back. We got a lot of uh, smaller storms this weekend. The big ones already happened, which was the last episode. So I didn't get much filmed, unfortunately, last one. Sorry about that. But this one, we're gonna get lots filmed. Today, I am headed into Vancouver and it's Melly's birthday. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna relax a little bit and we're gonna bring honey to the big city. But we're not driving there in the truck or the bug. We're driving there on the bike. Okay, honey, let's do this. All right, well, before you freak out, we've been doing this for a few months now, testing it out on the, van on the uh, island here, getting a feel for it. This is the biggest trip we've done yet. Going to Vancouver is a big deal. And uh, so we're excited to do it, but this ain't our first rodeo. Got, a little, got some groundwork down, gotta figure it out. First of all, going slow ain't what she's into. Unfortunately, the roads are a little bit slick from the rain we've been having. So I am going slow, I am taking it careful. But uh, she'd like to go a little bit quicker, a little speed demon. Hey, are you having fun? Yeah, good girl. All right, we made it safe and sound. It's the next day, a little bit nicer out because it ended up pissing rain on us on a trip over. And uh, Honey and I got a little bit wet. Gotta work on the waterproofing of her bag because about 80% of her was dry, but from the collar down, she had a little bit of water trickle down and she was a little cold, so we'll work on that. We'll better that this winter. Um, but yeah, Melly and I are going out to explore another side of motorcycling that we've both very passionate and excited about. And uh, you guys might be interested in too, so let's go test drive this bike. Scored, honey, this sweet little jacket. We've discovered the uh, city has a lot of squirrels, so she's really excited about that. Honey, leave the squirrel alone. Honey, come on, come on, come on, that's enough. No more rain. that we were originally planning on taking it out, but we decided that the uh, FXS or the FX is much more our speed. Small, light, 250 class, kind of dual sport, dirt bike. This one's a sumo though. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go inside and let you go, okay? <laughs> we'll see you back in a bit. All right, we'll come check with you in a second. Oh yeah, that good, eh? You will love this. I mean, the setup is not my cup of tea. It's the short forks and the, sh the small tire. I would have it more like a dual sport dirt bike setup, yeah. but the acceleration feels like freaking fairy dust magic. It's so effortless, it's so cool. I reached for the clutch at every single stop. <laughs> but man, it is awesome. Somebody actually commented on the bike, like I was standing at a light and people were crossing like, mm? I'm like, electric! <laughs> it's like, is it on? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's on! The light is green! And then, you can't make this shit up, it was a Tesla right in front of me and I was just <laughs> like, this is the future! Holy shit, it was, it is something, it's completely different, but it's so cool! <laughs> I love that it exists and um, I love how it, it does still feel like a motorcycle. Yeah. That's the one thing I was worried it's about. It's the power, it's the weight, it's the, the stability. The power? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. a motorbike. Definitely. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it looks tiny under you. <laughs> 
first impression? It's a freaking motorbike, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this is like, same kind of like oomph I get out of my uh, big bike. Same power to weight ratio, it's just, and I can't believe this is the same amount of power that my boat's gonna have. Really? But my boat weighs 16,000 pounds and this yeah. weighs 298. <laughs> um, a bit different, but yeah. All right, well, I certainly know where the bar has been set. Zero has set it nice and high and 20 kilowatts, well, it's making me think because one day I'm gonna get this boat project kind of squared away and I'll just be doing maintenance. God, I look forward to that day. And when that day comes, I wanna build an electric motorbike. And I think it might have a 20 kilowatt motor. That is a good amount of power. Very powerful. Yeah, yeah, that was... More than enough. Yeah, when I had the Super Sherpa, it was 250 cc's, and uh, I had half that amount of power on that bike. So, 20 kilowatts, it felt like a lot. All right, another day, another bunch of rain. Hopefully it'll dry up again like it did for us yesterday, and we'll be able to test drive this other electric vehicle, which is pretty much the exact opposite on the electric scale, and I'll explain why, but let's go check it out. So what are we renting today, Melly? Well, it's my birthday, so we're gonna rent us a little Tesla. <laughs> Do you know what the difference between the Tesla and the bike we rode yesterday is? Uh, They're opposites on the electronic vehicle spectrum. So the Tesla runs on AC induction motors and okay. the bike we rode yesterday was a permanent magnet brushless DC motor. Uh -huh. And also um, the Tesla runs on 18650 battery packs. So there are those little cells, little, little double A looking cells and the bike we rode yesterday was a solid state polymer cell so it's uh like a lipo a kind of lipo gotcha. kind of like the nissan leaf yeah. there you go <laughs> what do you want both pedals pressed okay sorry a two foot driver over here <laughs> Jeez. all right we're already stopped in this little neighborhood melly's having a bit of a panic attack <laughs> This uh, thing just takes over. Okay, so what's what's been going on here? Explain. The thing this. is, um, there's a couple of levers here, and um, as you see, they're right above each other. And this one just switches on the autopilot, and I use this one instead of the turn signal one. So I was on autopilot a couple of times, and we just went yeah. forward. Yeah, it's like without the, me touching anything, and I was a, a bit unnerving. adaptive cruise control. You kept turning on adaptive cruise control. So not the actual steering autopilot, just the speed no, autopilot. No, just the speed, yeah, yeah, I could uh, still steer. But then you just tap the brake and then it's off again. So I remember that. But, br um, brake and gas are both quite sensitive. So, super sensitive. And Melly has a, has a tendency of really stomping on things. Because so <laughs> I used to drive old cars. It, it's because you dri you're driving mm. giant army boots, okay? So Aren't you're just you, stomping yeah. on things and it's been <laughs> a bit of a ride so far. We're pulled over in this little neighborhood. Here. Find a something. moment for Melly to just relax a little we need bit. We need to relax. We need to switch the heat up. Yeah, I need heats to, up. Uh, the, you want a heated seat? I can heat your seat. Please heat my seat. I'm gonna set um, it. I set it to low because I set mine on high and yeah. vaporize my tush. All right. You know what? I'm gonna take my jacket off. Okay, take your jacket off. <laughs> get a bit more. Gotta comfortable. fix this playlist. Get it all set. More yeah. Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Before we get any further, I want to say yeah. this. This is a hundred percent what's going in my boat. Like this center console has got to be in my boat somewhere. Mm. I don't care how I do it. I need this yeah. interconnected with all the systems on my boat. This is the screw buttons and dials. It's not important. I mean, a manual override would be nice, of course, because it's a boat, but like, oh, I want this so much. A couple of things have manual override, right? Like the Yeah, yeah, the manual over here. manual overrides always. I mean, people yeah. people like, you know, they, they shit on the, the screen because they're like, well, if I need to really turn it off, you can turn it off. There'll always be a manual switch somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, but like, this is so cool. This is so convenient, so intuitive. It's distracting for me. Distracting? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm a co-pilot because I, I can see all the information yeah. here. I can control everything in the car through this How system. How about making the feet warmer? 
Uh, yeah, I can do that for you. Here, you I can. I got that. Here, watch. Watch. I go. got that. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out. Hold on. I got that in a second. But you can drive, <laughs> and I can do that. How's okay. that sound? Because you just... still got your maps right there. Did you see that? Oh your my maps god! There yeah, too. there's. It's it's a lot. It's brilliant. it's brilliant. It actually. You know what was most disturbing was what? that on the screen it shows me all the vehicles yeah, around me. Yeah, they're like, but the they're like little screen. ghost vehicles. They're eh? little ghost vehicles, but I'm like, I'm looking at them in uh, real yeah. life. It's, well, it helped us know. because you nearly blind spotted a few folks which i don't know how you do with like a mile and a half of glass around you i don't know how you hit people's <laughs> well because so. i was confused because it was just going 90 without me touching anything <laughs> oh right yeah, yeah yeah that that was a big deal yeah it was a bit um unsettling but yeah. um yeah okay cool cool okay drive i'll fix your make the feet warm yes yes ma'am Charging. Wait, wait, wait. There's a light blinking up. Charge port door needs service. Contact Tesla service when convenient. What does that mean? I swear to God, I saw him use this exact charger, and yet I can't find how that's supposed to work. Lights flashing with charging up. We got four hours. It took and, uh, five tries, but we figured yeah. it out. We went to the wrong charging station first, then this latch wouldn't open, then the latch wouldn't lock. $120,000 yeah. car, guys. Yeah, we got it. All right, quick review of the uh, Tesla. It is a phenomenon. It is like... A spaceship. It's a spaceship. It's an epic <laughs> vehicle. Um, obviously, stoked for this to be, um, you know, the new standard. Also stoked for them to like work out some of the kinks like that damn charger or for us humans to be more trained to actually use things like that. But anyway, we're going to go to a diner here in town in Harrison Hot Springs. And uh, why did we come out here? Oh, we're just driving the Tesla today. <laughs> we're just driving. The, we just came out here to drive it's it. my birthday. <laughs> It's not that. It? The sensors, the sensors are fucked. Green. Yeah, the, sen the motion sensors are fucked. Oh well, it's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, whatever. All right, we finally made it back to Melly's place. Honey's here, she's whining, wants to go for a walk. We're gonna do that, we're gonna head back to the bay, to Degnan. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. The blues is broken loose. Um, it is off and on raining and it's cold and dark and I feel the same way, honey. I feel the exact same way. <sighs> it's been a long way. It's been nice though to test out the other electric stuff and to know what's out there on the high end. Now let's figure out what I'm going to do. 
All right. Thanks You're for watching, welcome. guys. See you guys next episode.